Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here, and we're back with our monthly recap, new for 2023, for January. I didn't know if we were going to be continuing this or not. And yet, here we are, here again, we are. sitting on the side of the couch, with a billion ears in the wall, Grogu in the back, drinks, and a tablet. Here we are. We're doing the thing. So let's get right into it. It was a wild month in January. We had a bunch of highs, high highs, and some low lows. We did. As usual, we're going to start off with the best... The best entree. For me, the best entree was very easy. Vegan tacos from Cafe La Bamba. Ooh, ca I think that Cafe uh -oh. La Bamba is now the number one quick service place at Universal. You just said something scandalous. The number one quick service in yes. all of Universal. Yes. I like it better than Wimpy's. Oh, those are fighting words. Wimpy's <laughs> is so good. Wimpy's is very good. Wow. The, those tacos were fire. I don't even care that we waited like an hour for the food. The, it was fire and I'm excited to try all of the other vegan options that they have at Cafe La Bamba because there's like six vegan options. And I don't always know what crazy Entrees. things she's going to say. But, okay. All right. Well, my best of the month, best entree goes out to the politest of pigs course with their polite pot pie and a special thank you to the princess because i wasn't gonna go she wants me to go to try all the new things to pot pie we love polite pig it just had your name all over it pot pie <laughs> with cornbread on top you really can't go wrong and it was an actual iron skillet with like hot i burned my fingers a little bit a little singed them it was good it was worth it if you get the chance to go to polite pig and try the pot pie do it and do it tell them we sent you I rated mine a four and a half out of five just because of the weight, and you rated yours a five. Solid so. five. Definitely the best of the best. Cheers to the best entree. Time for the worst entrees of the month. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like the worst is going to be the same restaurant this month for yes. pretty if, much everything. If you watch our videos on the regular, I'm not saying everyone. Some of you, just like us, we got lives. We don't expect you to watch every video. But if you watch a good number of our videos a month, you probably already know where the worst from January is coming from. And I, I, they, they are now on my list of slander. Which is sad because we so loved breakfast. The dinner was like the opposite of breakfast in every sense of the word. And some of you in our community even tried to warn us we not did. to go. And we didn't believe you. But, well, well, not that we, we didn't did. believe you, but we had to go. We just had to go. For the community. Yeah. For the people. Share the information with everybody. Now we know. So anyway, after that long introduction, we're talking about Crystal Palace Oof. and Magic Kingdom. Um, the thing that I did not like the most was the vegetable chana masala. There was no masala about that. It was wheat sauce. That was no sauce. It was wheat sauce. No sauce. For, I gave it a two. So for my worst of the month, and there were a lot of bad things I had to consume this month. The seared mahi mahi, mahi, mahi for Crystal Palace was a joke. It was a flaky, unseasoned mess with a romesco sauce that didn't make any sense. And it said seared... You guys saw the video. If you don't go back and watch it, that was not sear. It was like lightly baked at best. Just not great. It was tasteless mush. And I was very disappointed. I've always said if there's a restaurant that messes up Mahi Mahi is going on the list. Sure. Crystal Palace for dinner. For dinner specifically is on my list. It will be a very long time before I return to Crystal Palace for dinner. Just like we haven't been back to ABC Commissary for their last mess up. But breakfast, have at it. Yes. So cheers to the worst. You will not be missed. But we love Pooh's hugs. Pooh does get the best hugs. Best drink of the month. My best drink um, was very surprising to me. I did not expect it to come from the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Stuck up on you. But the Crescent Lake Sunset took Rosa Regale to a new level, and now I want to always drink Rosa Regale in that form. You took a basic Disney overpriced wine, and you added things to it. Now the princess literally has not stopped talking about it. I, for the month, chose to Tequila Midnight. That is one of the new specialty cocktails at Polite Pig for the month. That was good. The princess ordered it, oddly enough, and I wanted to steal it. I didn't know, but I wanted to. So both of our best drinks are tequila drinks, and we both rated them four and a half out of five. Okay. We're not mad at that. 
Cheers to the best. Tequila. It's got to be, if it's going to be a worst, there has to be a best. The best. Worst? The best worst drink of the month. Best worst? <laughs> I, you lost me there for a minute. Um, the worst worst. It's called the worst worst. For me, this drink was isn't actually the worst, but in this specific instance, when we did our mic check video, Bear ordered a Leaping Leprechaun from this, Rose and Crown, and it, it was, was so terrible. terrible. It was soaded, like... No tomorrow, so I gave that a two and a half. That was definitely the worst thing I had now, in January. I just word, they have not always been that bad. No, there has they're been some we've that we've liked. Yeah. That one specific one in every place had this off night, both bar, lounge, and restaurant alike. That particular night, that leaping leprechaun was trash. It was really bad. So for my worst of the month, that actually comes from our bar crawl, our Barcelona, not Barcelona, but our Coronado bar crawl, which it's one of our favorite bar crawls on property. It's the one that requires the least walking and has the most options. And you can just plop on your hotel bed when you're done. Perfect. You got lounge places outside. You got some fake AstroTurf to collapse on. It's <laughs> magnifique. Uh, but the Spanish Margarita from, actually was from Barcelona Lounge, uh, was was terrible. Dude, I compared it to a bar mat shot. Yeah, you did. I thought they just took the refuse of the bar mats, poured it in a cup, put it on ice, maybe shook it a little bit and served it to me. That was not a margarita. I don't know what that was, but it was definitely terrible in any language. Mm -hmm. I gave that a one. It deserved it. It did. Cheers to the worst. More bar crawls, though. If the people want them, they will happen. Please comment and tell us if you'd like us to do more bar crawls. Till then, time for the best appetizer and or side of the month. Um, mine is always going to be the barbecue cauliflower from Polite Pig, so if tasty. we go. That, we've done four or five videos at Polite Pig now, and mm -hmm. every single one of those videos, I get the cauliflower. Yes. That Don't is the one thing I will always get when I go eat there. And then when we just go to Disney Springs in general, I always have to stop there for an apple cider whiskey sour. So no matter what, Polite Pig is a five I'm for me. I'm telling you, if Polite Pig ever decides they want to serve plant-based barbecue, the rest of you are through. Oh, yeah. It will be like... Through. Um, this will be a Polite Pig channel we'll be like, after that. Roundup Barbecue what? Who? Ah, yes. Roundup Barbecue is coming soon. <laughs> Look forward to that at some point in the future. When it actually opens March. Sometime. 24th, I think. We will, we will try to be there. For my best of the month, was actually a surprise. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, unrelated to food on its own, we did a Lunar New Year video because we like to celebrate New Lunar New Year with our AAPI community. And uh, Disney World does nothing for Lunar New Year. Almost less than nothing. The The store in the China Pavilion Epcot has some decorations, but that's not even a Disney-owned store. That's a third-party store. Uh, but luckily enough, we actually did get a last-minute, very last-minute mm -hmm. entree at Nine Dragons. We ran out to go get. Part of that uh, dim sum box, holiday dim sum box, was General Tso's chicken schmals, which is basically like a General Tso's dumpling. A little bit thicker, a little bit taller. But that thing, that is a new superior way to get General Tso's. Not the deep fried mess, the nice, like almost soupy dumpling. <sighs> should make those at home, like vegan version. I'm sure we could do a vegan version. It shouldn't be that hard. We have the know-how. It's we true. have the tools. It can be done. And now but we're I inspired. Gave that a, I gave it a four out of five thoughts. I was really surprised. Cheers to the best. And to the new year. Yes. And to the community. And to the year of the rabbit or the cat, depending. Worst appetizer and or side. We're developing a trend here. Well, I already gave you the uh, fair warning that it's going to be Crystal Palace. So it's definitely Crystal Palace. Um, for me, the fresh garden salad. I, I built myself a cute little salad. The salad bar was a mess. As far as organization and labeling goes, thank goodness I had the little allergy booklet because oof. It was uh, it was not organized. And it was From not good. The, the construction of the salad bar was just terrible. Like dressing first, then topping, then leaves, then top. Like, it was all backwards, and it just did not work. And so then even surprised. the quality of the ingredients was like subpar. It was like worse than Pizza Hut salad. Honestly, if we had gone to Casey's Corner instead of. Crystal Palace probably would have been a lot happier. I agree. And I don't even like Crystal's Corner. <laughs> I agree. Casey's Corner would definitely be a better choice. Okay. And my worst appetizer aside actually was also from the Crystal, Crystal Palace, Palace. This is the black 
pepper, Parmesan lavash. And like I said, for my our Middle Eastern community, Persian, Hi. Arab, or otherwise. Uh, it's Arab. Arab. We, I dumped on it. It was terrible. It was basically like a, a cracker. And it wasn't even like black pepper Parmesan. It was just like a tasteless cracker. It was awful. To call that lavash is an insult to my friends. I gave it a one. I was very sad about that lavash. And we both, I gave mine a one as well. Cheers to Crystal Palace, I suppose. Now this is the oddest thing. In a year of doing recaps, this has never happened. I know. Never happened. We're doing the best dessert and I didn't eat any desserts. Not a one. Not one. She's the dessert queen. I don't like dessert. My entree is my dessert. And she had not a single one. My drink is usually my dessert because he doesn't dessert with me. And I can't have a dessert on my own. So, for my best dessert of January, the French Silk Cupcake Crystal Palace. The desserts were the only redeeming quality about that dinner. And they were just slightly above average. But they didn't have a single plant-based option labeled, at the very least, on the entire dessert station. There was one I could have got, or there was one that was supposed to be on the dessert station that wasn't there. And then the alternative options were um, either chocolate or vanilla, like um, dairy-free ice cream. I think it was the soy-based ice, soyo. Um, but you have to ask your server for that. And our server was over... Book. like she was overworked with tables and couldn't really check on us as much as she probably would have liked to plus the chaos of the characters coming around blocks your access to the tables so we didn't really get a chance to ask for that which is there fine are, there are a lot of things functionally wrong with crystal palace dinner it's more than just the food it's oh yeah, and the Disney. congestion because your cast members are overworked they're trying their best and things are just not working in that restaurant at night be nice to your cast members please they need. They definitely need more help there. Cheers to the best. And this fridge some cupcake. <laughs> now the worst, as no surprise, since the person didn't get one, my worst also comes to Crystal Palace. I said it was the brightest spot. I didn't say it was all good. A butterscotch pudding with popcorn on top was not a vibe. It was edible and it was inoffensive but it was just bland barely butterscotch and then the popcorn was just such an odd choice i gave it two and a half out of five plus actually outside of the festivals crystal palace was the only place you had dessert this month well, we didn't have a good festival month either but we'll get no to that. we didn't so time for the best festival food of january now this one doesn't count but I'm going to mention it anyway because the, the video, it, video posted, posted in, in January. January and I think we ate it after midnight. No, we didn't. We mm. ate it before midnight. Before midnight. But, um, which mm. is irrelevant. What matters is when the video posts. Um, the Impossible Chorizo Tamale from the Festival of the Holidays. Yep. We both love that. We both put that really high up on our list and yep. would have been our favorite festival food. But we kind of feel like that's a disservice to you by picking something yep. from a festival that's not even... Technically, happening. technically on New Year's Eve even, the festival was already over. It right. had been over for two days, but they still had some of the festivals who's open to all serve food. Almost all of them Almost were all open. Of them. More so this year than last year. To serve food. Like some of the like the, the plating change and the portion sizes changed, but they were still open for New Year's Eve. So yeah, we got both got a tamal that night. And so that was a five for me and him. And but for Festival of the Arts, my best dish that I had was the carrots three ways from Morocco that I rated a three and a half out of five. That is a returning dish, not a new dish. I it's a low rating. the new dishes. That's a low rating for best. Yeah. It's the best I could do. That's why I was like, I got to mention the tamal because that's where my heart is. Mm. And then my favorite for this year was actually another returning item, the roasted bone marrow yeah. from Canada. It is a disgusting dish to watch somebody eat but i was actually more about the dish this year than i was last year last year i was kind of weirded out by it this year i was like i need my marrow so i got one i rated that a four out of five cause again not the highest ratings you usually see for my best of the month but here we are we're dealing with the with the the festival that was given to us 
Bear had so many freaking bone marrows last year. This year I was like, it's gross, but I've seen it so much now. Still gross me out. And Especially when you scoop the jelly. Scrape it. Ugh. Scrape in the bone. Ugh. You hear the plastic reusable fork Ugh. scraping the inside of that bone. It's so nasty. To me, jelly. It's nasty. Time for the worst festival food item of the month. We had a lot to choose from for the worst. <laughs> yeah, we did. There were a, farts, a lot of bad things. Farts, and yes, I'm calling it fart, and it that farts. triggers some people, but I'm calling it fart to get you know what? Or I fart. The food was a fart. <laughs> but the festival, they're trying. But the food, while being artistic, is not coming together. No, you're right. It is a fart. It's a fart. Fart in the wind. We're glad that it's short. So, for the worst food of the month. I picked the... It was difficult for me to pick one, honestly. I had to sit and, like, contemplate. But I ultimately, I chose the compressed watermelon tatake. The only part of that dish that I really liked was the watermelon rind... Or, yeah, watermelon rind that they put on it. Other than that... Trash. It's a very confused dish. A lot of different flavors going on. Very messy. Why so much watermelon? Well, like I said in that video, I've had watermelon like sushi style from Takumite back before they closed, and that was flavored beautifully. So I was expecting not Takumite level, but something comparable, and I got like it, bad. It's a dish that needs more attention. If you're going to go with that, it need it needs something else. It's not working as is. My worst dish of the month also happened to include watermelon. Was the fruit pizza, and you might as well go ahead and call it a watermelon pizza because it's literally just a slice of watermelon with fruit yeah, on top. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a pizza. That's a pizza crime. It's just a slice of watermelon. A slice with of watermelon toppings. with some with some blueberries and some compressed cantaloupe and. Berry compote. Uh, it, it was very weird. I liked it. Per I mean, like, I... You ate it. <laughs> I was mad that it was called... I felt deceived because it was called a pizza, but I still thought it was good. At the very least, it's a low investment because it's only, like, three seventy five. dollars But... For a slice of watermelon, though, you could buy a whole watermelon for, like, five bucks. It, it, it was a bit weird. It was definitely a little bit of a markup there. But luckily, we don't ever have to do it again. So cheers to the worst. Or do we? No, oh, God. Now, for our favorite part of any festival, the drinks. The best drinks, in fact. The drinks were not as good as some of the other festivals, but they some, some there were some bright spots in a very dark horizon. My favorite, and I think this is from Festival of the Holidays, Spice Pumpkin Punch. Well, I gave it was, a five. That was New Year's Eve. I <laughs> guess I forgot to do a um, Festival of the Arts one. So, gosh, off the top of my head... I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what you liked. You didn't love a lot I of I wasn't the, really into a lot of the... Maybe the Chardonnay from France? No. no? Did you like... You liked the lemonade. The Yuzu lemonade from Japan. I did. I did like that one, but it was like this big. It was very small. Portion size to size, but I think it's the one that you had the, the best reactor to. I don't think you liked yeah. any of the beers. No. no of the ones I could try. No. And the margarita from... I did Mexico, like that did margarita. Like. I have gotten it another time since then, so I guess since I've ordered it twice at mm. this point, I should say the margarita from the Mexico stand. And that was the Las Californias. Yes. Is that, going, is that where replacement is your best? Yeah, I guess I'll put that. Las Californias. Yes. For my best, and you guys may have rant, heard me rant about this both in the video uh, from Festival of the Art Drinks and on TikTok. If you don't follow us on TikTok, follow us there. Uh, the Bomb Bon... Um, Marshmallow margarita. That is like swine brine territory for me. It's deliciously smoky with the with the toasted marshmallows on top. I have ordered how many since then? Two, Two. three. I love that drink. That drink is going to I'm gonna do this with vegan marshmallows at home. It's only a matter of time. And I already have a torch. For those who, because we did have some people ask us as well, the marshmallows do contain gelatin. They're, so they're like not regular vegan marshmallows. As is. Uh, you could get it without the marshmallows, but then why? Because that's like Part a good it. half of the, the, the deliciousness of the drink. Is that like the swine brine too? Because you have to like dunk the meat in and the... That's exactly what I did with the marshmallows. Okay. Is, the princess tried to capture it, but I was so about the drink that I'm just like fiercely dunking away to get the... It was good. It was good. I gave that a 5 out of 5 class. Cheers to the best festival drinks. All right. 
for the worst vegetable drink, you made this easy for us. Yeah, we definitely agreed on this one. This is the one that tasted like emergency slash Alka-Seltzer. The Ciroc Sunset Citrus Vodka Spritz from the France stand. I've said before that most of these companies attempting, especially the major breweries, trying to make these pre-made cocktails in the can. That's Cutwater, Jack Daniels, Ciroc now is in that title. They are terrible. Even the Jameson one we tried, we we had to add Jameson to them because we did not like it. And we are Jameson diehard fans. Jameson, we're listening. Call us. Either way, it, it was terrible. Like medicine orange soda it was bad. i don't know it was and it bad. was like 13 dollars it was a whole can though it's 13 i know i could go get a margarita in mexico for that price made no sense but we both gave it a solid one, one. and it probably deserved less than that since we both hated it we actually had to give it to sailor taylor to finish because neither of us could do it good. cheers to the worst I hope they don't remember you. Now, for everybody's favorite part of the month, the necessities list, which from last year has shrank. It did, but we didn't go to as many places this month as we usually do because we have incorporated shorts into yeah, our schedule. We changed more. our schedule a lot more. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see more, both in shorts or long form, we always like to hear from you guys. If you think this new format is working or not working, we love constructive criticism. Most of the changes that we make are because of you guys. And most of the places that we go to is because of you guys. So if you want to see something else, less shorts, more shorts, you want to see those go maybe to Instagram or TikTok, or maybe you're fine with just three long form videos a week, let us know. Or maybe you want to see more local stuff. It's variable. It's variable. Last week we posted all five. We did because there's a festival. We told you when there's a festival on, we post them normally. We're trying to get this stuff out to you enough time for you guys to make the best decision with your own dollars based off what we give you so for necessities list this year or this month rather i have three items this month actually this year is applicable as well because this it's... year is applicable to... <laughs> i promise you i'm all here so first up is the bomb Mon, uh margarita marshmallow which you just hear me rant about non-stop i I'm daydreaming about that. If we do make it back to farts, that'll be the first thing I get. We will make it back to farts because you guys smashed our light goal already. Dun, dun, so dun, dun. we will be going in February before it closes. I'll definitely get one of these. Sir. Next up was the Jade Beauty from Nine Dragons. We get that drink almost every single time we go to Nine Dragons. Actually, the princess's favorite drink there. Uh, delicious uh, honeydew melon cocktail. And then last up was the crispy duck bao bun. So actually bao, you don't have to say bao bun. So crispy duck bao from Nine Dragons is my second favorite item. Nine Dragons and always a treat. My princessities list is even shorter than that. Um, I picked the crispy artichokes from Dahlia Lounge. They are a side like appetizer or categorize it as an appetizer, but I say they're a dessert personally. Um, that's definitely a sweet, crispy artichoke with raspberries so it definitely feels desserty to me and not it's very sweet i believe sweet i called dish. them hood rat artichokes i don't take that, that sounds back. like you <laughs> <laughs> and then the jade beauty at nine dragons because like he said i always get that drink i didn't get it this last time i got the Vijo and i really liked that one but i mean jade beauty is a classic it is cheers to necessities for the month next month we have, well, February, we have Mardi Gras coming up. Yes. That's going to be really awesome. We have, because we don't have any restaurants opening. We don't have any restaurants opening, but we do have some reviews for you guys that we're excited about. We haven't booked any, like, um, character dining or buffet or anything like that. So if there's something that you want us to do in treat, that category so. this month, please let us know, because I don't know where I want to go next for that. Or even treats or snacks. We're going to be trying to... Fit in some more universal content, even though you're gonna get a ton of universal content from us for Mardi Gras because we Mardi Gras is our favorite festival. We love Mardi Gras at Universal. We love Nola. We love Nola, and we probably should make a trip back there before for too long. Uh, but we got a lot of great things planned for you in 2023. Irregardless, as always, if there's anything you'd like to see us do, the comments are always gonna be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and. We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video.
And if you don't comment, I don't know, Bear's gonna yeet himself into the panda. We're gonna fly somewhere and not film it. No! 